Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disneyland Paris in Walter's Studios Park and I'm actually in Studio One, which is where they have a restaurant here. You can kind of see it behind me. It's called Restaurant En Coulisse and it's a restaurant that I really just don't like. I very rarely eat there. In fact, I can't remember the last time I had a proper meal inside this restaurant. It's been a long, long time, but for the purpose of this video, I thought I'd go in, check it out, see if the food has improved at all and yeah, come along. Restaurant En Coulisse consists of more or less most of the major buildings here inside Studio One and you can see the menu over here, so there you go. Uh, today's cast and crew menu, it mainly serves burgers, really just burgers to be honest. I think there might be like a fish burger as well and some chicken nuggets and normally it's a very very busy restaurant as well. This is the only, well actually now that we've got Avengers Campus it's no longer the only quick service option here but it's still one of the most popular quick service options inside Walt Disney Studios Park and even though I've arrived here at let's have a look so it's 4 30 p.m which is not normally traditionally what you would call lunch or dinner time it still does have a pretty long queue however this is probably the shortest that you'll ever see <laughs> the queues here at on police restaurant if you come here doing peak lunch and dinner times so like closer to maybe 7 8 p.m it's going to get very very long queues before we join the queue though to order quite a variety of food options probably just a lot of burgers i thought i would show you a little bit of the theming inside this restaurant so because we're in studio one as you can see we've got aladdin's carpet up there here we've got some beautiful animations, little um, portraits, if you like, of different characters, which is very, very cool, actually. I very rarely get to see these, so there you go. You can kind of have a glimpse at all of them over here. It's meant to have like a very much movie vibe, which is cute, but not enough to make this restaurant exciting, in my personal opinion. It is a very big restaurant, though, so they do have quite a lot of seating areas. There's an upstairs area as well. I'm not sure if it's open at the moment, because obviously we're not doing peak times, but if I can, I might go upstairs and show you the upstairs area as well so the location is ideal because you're in studio one but at the same time in some ways it's also not ideal because that's one of the reasons why it gets very busy normally because everyone has to go through studio one to get to the rest of the park at Walt Disney Studios Park so people just see this food option area and they're like oh this is the place to eat when I would say it isn't but who knows maybe this time around it will be different like I said I haven't eaten here in a while so maybe the food has improved maybe my experience will be different so yeah let's go inside the queue and get some burgers you can see some of the options of food items that they have going on there they do do the menu black widow over there as you can see it's 16 euros for a black widow burger and some chips and yeah some regular premium burgers they also do a plant-based burger which is obviously very good as well and that's the children's menu over there which I believe is nine euros so nine euros and again it's basically just burgers and chips and you get a drink as well also it does look like because it's the 30th anniversary they are selling the 30th anniversary burger here which is the exact same one that you can get at Cafe Hyperion in the other park in uh, Discoveryland I have had the 30th anniversary burger a couple of times already and it's a pretty good burger so if you want to check videos of me trying that out I would suggest watching my 30th anniversary vlog from back in March where I recently also tried it during uh, Disney Plus Day so yeah it's a a good burger so I know what that's gonna taste like so I'm not gonna get it I just want to get one of the regular burgers I think it's called the premium burger and again just because I'm curious and I've never actually had a fish burger here I do think I'm gonna get the fish burger too just because I'm curious so we're gonna try two burgers probably if they have them and some, some chips and yeah I'll let you know what it's like but honestly the queue is the, very very like it's just very slow moving so it's again one of the slower restaurants as well just in terms of its service it can take a long time just to get served so bear that in mind I've just noticed why it seems to be going extra slow today is because normally I believe they have some cast members here so they will take your order here and then you collect your items at the front whereas I think at the moment for whatever reason they're taking the orders and actually giving you your food in the same location which is making things go way slower than normal merci beaucoup merci au revoir so we just got our food it wasn't too bad to be fair in the end I think we were probably in the queue for about 20 minutes and it does look like they have closed off the upstairs area so we're gonna have to find somewhere downstairs yeah there you go so there's more seating upstairs and it points to the upstairs area however as you can see over here it is unfortunately closed over here so I guess they'll probably open it later on like I said when it gets busier but unfortunately it feels like it's already quite busy here so I'm not sure how it's gonna you know, be for us to find it okay well there you go there are quite a few seats here actually okay so we have a table it is pretty busy to be fair but there seems to be maybe one or two free tables around so not too bad before we get to the food though which I have here in front of me I just wanted to give a big shout out to the cast member that served me unfortunately I didn't get his name but he was so lovely and the service was actually very quick once I 
ordered. But at the end, when he handed me the food, he was like, au revoir, merci. So he basically said my name, which is just a nice touch. And the only reason he knew my name was because I gave him my annual pass earlier to get the discount on the food, which we're going to talk about the prices in a second. But I just feel like when the, when uh, cast members go above and beyond, just to do some personal touches with uh, the service, you know, just calling my name when they say thank you was lovely. Anyway, we have our food here. So I went for menu number three, which is the burger and the fries. This is the fries here, the burger we're going to have a look at when we open it later on. But I also decided to go for the fish burger a la carte, which you can do. So if you don't want to get a full on menu, you can just get the burger on its own. And the price for all of it all together, as you can see over here, hopefully came to 22 euros 50, which is not too bad. It's not unreasonable. It's very similar to other quick service restaurants here in Disneyland Paris. And I did get a drink with the menu as well. Menu three also comes with a drink. I decided to go for my water. So I think I'm going to open up the premium cheeseburger first uh, from menu number three. And if you go for menu number three, you can also swap the cheeseburger for a veggie burger, which I presume is also vegan. I'm not quite sure. Wow. This looks like quite a sad burger, doesn't it? Hopefully it will taste better than it looks, but here's a closer look at it. You can see it's basically one layer of obviously the, the meat, the beef inside. Then you've got some cheddar cheese on top of it and some tomatoes, some lettuce, a bit of sauce by the looks of it. And yeah, just the bread, but it looks quite, um, quite thin so hopefully it will taste better than it looks this reminds me of my childhood and like teenage years my early years of coming to Disneyland Paris because it just tastes like a typical like, theme park cheeseburger there's nothing special about it but it's also not bad let's take another bite it's a very very basic cheeseburger there's definitely better cheeseburgers around Disneyland Paris even around the corner at Five Guys in Disney Village you can get a much better cheeseburger and probably for a similar price maybe even cheaper than this but as far as theme park cheeseburgers go I wouldn't say it's bad either like this is not a bad burger it's just not very good like I would not choose to come here I wouldn't get excited about a burger like this I'd eat it if there was nothing else around and I you know every time I have actually eaten here in the past few years it's been because there's been nothing else around and I've needed some food uh, but thankfully now with Avengers Campus being open there are other quick service options open but yeah I mean I'm still gonna enjoy the burger let's try the fry as well the fries just gonna be the similar fries that you get our only quick service restaurant in Disneyland Paris, yeah. Very, very basic fries, but they're good, you know, they're fries. How can you not enjoy fries? But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the cheeseburger and then get back to you at the end to try the fish burger as well. Okay, well, I finished the burger and it was actually, like, quite nice, you know. It wasn't a bad burger by any means. I've still got some of my fries left over here. But what we're interested in right now is the fish burger. And the fish burger, a la carte, so on its own, was 10 euros, which is quite a lot. I'm very curious about this. I love fish burgers, so hopefully this will taste nice as well the fish burgers from mcdonald's are some of my favorite things to buy you know the filet of fish and it's obviously a lot less expensive than this too so i don't know this has a lot to live up to but we shall give it a taste test fish burger time <laughs> i'm actually surprisingly still quite hungry too this is my first meal of the day and it's 4 30 so i mean maybe it's not actually surprising that i'm still hungry so there you go this is a close look at the fish burger here at Onkelis restaurant in Disneyland Paris as Walt Disney Studios Park. The fish looks pretty good. There seems to be kind of similar things on top really. Just some salads and I'm not sure what this is. I really don't know. Is it onions? I really don't know. We're gonna we're gonna give it a taste test though. It looks better weirdly than the burger and a little bit thicker too, which is always good. So yeah, let's give us a taste test. I'm trying to figure out why it's so dry. Like fish doesn't isn't meant to be dry and there's some sauce on here as well and I feel like this bite the sauce at least my first bite just felt very dry and I think it might be because of the bread the bread feels very dry and very very hard as well but we're gonna take another bite it's okay this is an okay fish burger definitely not worth 10 euros I would not get this again ever in my life especially because again if I want to get a nice fish burger I could just go to McDonald's in Disney Village it's like a 10 minute walk from here and get that for like what three four euros or something so much cheaper than this but yeah it's not bad i'm glad that they are actually offering a fish version because like i said most of the food items here are just burgers cheeseburgers beef burgers and chicken nuggets like very typical um theme park food that's kind of why i wanted to try this as well just to see if the fact that they've got something a little bit different you know a fish burger might make it worthwhile but 
Okay. It's really not worth 10 euros. This is a very, very mediocre fish burger. I would not recommend this. It's a shame as well because I actually had high hopes for this. I was really hoping that the fish burger would change my mind a little bit about this uh, restaurant, Ankulis, because I've had uh, the cheeseburgers here before and even the chicken nuggets and the, ch uh, the chicken burger, they do one as well. I've had those before and I've you know been disappointed by all of them. So I was hoping this might change things around, but unfortunately, it didn't. I'm still gonna eat it though. Well, I am done with my meal and it was probably the most average, underwhelming meal I've ever had at Disneyland Paris. It just really wasn't that great, but it did the job, you know, it, it helped my hunger. I was quite hungry at 4.30 p.m. because I hadn't had lunch yet. And for that, I'm happy. I'm happy that I ate here. Like I said, the burger, the actual cheeseburger is not too bad. The fish burger, honestly, I would not get again. Obviously, I didn't get any dessert because it didn't come with the menu option that I went for number three. But I'm going to show you here some of the desserts that you can get. They do sell some ice creams. They do the, the Mickey bars here as well if you want to get those. Some Magnums as well as um, the 30th anniversary like mousse cake thing. Dessert is currently set, uh, being sold here as well. And then the little Mickey shaped cakes which are quite nice actually. But um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really feel like I wanted desserts here because there's nothing unique to this restaurant in terms of desserts. This has been my view by the way, in case you're wondering. Which is not a bad view per se. Like I said, the theming's not bad at all. There's quite a lot of fun things to look at. And again, you can see the upstairs area of the restaurant as well, which if you sit up there, you can get pretty decent views of Studio One, which is behind me over there. But apart from that, again, there's no difference really between here and the upstairs area of the restaurant. But yeah, here's another look at this side of the restaurant. So there's some tables here on the left-hand side. And then the main area, of course, is the center of it, which is where we ordered our food. It looks to still be quite busy thank you thank you very much and yeah we are leaving I guess from this way they do actually have some seats and tables just outside the restaurant as well I imagine those would be quite chaotic though compared to the ones inside because the inside of this restaurant is generally quite busy anyway but if you eat outside which is obviously also where studio one is you're going to just be constantly seeing like I can't even really vlog here properly you're going to constantly be seeing the crowds of people so I'm going to go to the corner here yeah you're going to constantly see people coming through it's not somewhere I would ideally like to eat outside on police but again the theming's quite nice they're advertising menu Black Widow over here at uh, this side of the restaurant and again you can see some palm trees over here I mean basically it's a theming that you get inside Studio One anyway and like I said from the outside it does look quite cool basically like a set design a movie set which is quite nice it's one of the only parts of what well, the studios park that is still themed to what it was originally meant to be which is kind of like the whole movie vibe Hollywood vibe of the park did my recent visit to restaurant Uncle East change my opinion on the restaurant no on Unfortunately, it didn't. I still think it's one of the worst, if not the worst, quick service restaurant at Disneyland Paris. However, I can see why it's here. I can see why it's very, very popular. I mean, it basically serves very, very, you know, typical theme park food, your burgers, your chicken nuggets, etc. They do also do a chicken burger there, which, fun fact for you, I once had this chicken burger ages ago. Must have been in 2014 or 15. And that's actually what put me off coming back to this restaurant because the chicken burger was just not only really bad, I felt like the chicken wasn't cooked enough, like it wasn't cooked well. And so I didn't even finish that chicken burger years ago when I came here. I don't know if it's still that way. It's probably improved because, you know, food has just generally improved a lot in Disneyland Paris over the past few years. But again, even with the burger that I had, with the fish burger that I had as well, I don't think the quality of the food is good enough for a Disney park. Even though it's a theme park and it's theme park food, I would not personally eat there if I have the choice. And there are choices now, like I said, we've got Avengers Campus, you normally have the food booths as well in Walt Disney Studios for like the Food and Wine Festival on the Google Mall. But like I said, if you're in Walt Disney Studios Park and all you want really is just some chicken nuggets and chips or a very mediocre burger, then Restaurant Uncle's has you covered. I can see how it serves its purpose. You know, like I said, it's a big restaurant, loads of seats, loads of dining rooms as well as an upstairs area when it gets very, very busy. So I understand why it's here. And I don't I don't necessarily mind the fact that they do burgers and chicken nuggets etc I just wish that the food that they did serve like the burgers were better if the burgers were better if the fish burger was better if the chicken burger was actually cooked well that I had years ago I wouldn't mind it so much you know it's a cool looking restaurant it's just cute to be able to actually eat inside studio one which is like I said the main entrance almost like the main street USA of Walt Disney Studios Park and from the outside the facades they have here do look pretty cute but as always I'm gonna leave it down to you let me know in the comments down below if you've ever eaten at restaurant Uncle East here in Disneyland Paris as well as the Studios Park or 
would you eat here based on what I showed you? I, like I said, I can't not recommend it because I understand that for some families this could be a good option, especially if they have picky eaters, etc. But whenever I've been here with friends or family members or if you know, somebody that I know comes to Disneyland Paris and then they kind of later tell me that they ate there and they just weren't very happy with it, I get so sad because it's a very easy mistake to make. It's a very easy trap. If you're hungry and you're just walking to this park and you see that big restaurant, you're like, oh yeah, you know, this is this is a good place to eat, right? And then more than likely you're going to be disappointed with the food. So it's definitely not somewhere I would take people on their first Disney trip because I don't think it's Disney quality enough. Like the quality is not what Disney should be, personally speaking. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts though. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I'm glad I got to try it again. Like I said, it wasn't bad. The burger I actually kind of enjoyed in the end but it kind of reaffirmed to me that it's not somewhere that I would eat uh, at again, at least not anytime soon. I might be said once every two years or something, but if I can help it, I will not eat at least on Uncle But that is it. Thank you for watching. I am going to head out. I think it's raining a little bit still, but um, yeah, if you want to subscribe to this video, give it a like, you know, follow me on Instagram. Feel free to do so. I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. But for me and Studio One and Restaurant Uncle inside it, which isn't very good, I bid you farewell. See ya.